On this worksheet, we're going to practice identifying um, the amine functional group and classifying it as either primary, secondary, or tertiary. First thing that I want to do is point out the difference between amine and amide. The amide functional group is really similar to the amine functional group. It is one that has a carbon-oxygen double bond that is directly attached to a nitrogen. And on this worksheet, we are not looking for amides. So we want to ignore the amide functional group completely. We're focusing solely on amines. Now, in terms of classifying the amines, a primary amine is going to be a nitrogen that is bonded to two hydrogen atoms. There's gonna be something else attached over here on this side. As long as it is not a carbon-oxygen double bond, we're good to go. Like just a regular carbon with some hydrogens on it or something like that, that would work great. A secondary amine is going to be a nitrogen that has only one hydrogen atom attached, and it is gonna have two additional bonds to something else. Again, cannot be a carbon-oxygen double bond. It is possible that instead of having two single bonds the way I drew there, maybe it has just one double bond that counts the same as two single bonds. So we'll see you know, kind of a variety of both of those. And then last but not least, a tertiary amine is one that has no hydrogens on it at all. So I'm just gonna put some question marks there. Um, that could also be a triple bond or it could be a double bond with a single bond. The key is no hydrogens. So let's take a look at these structures and look for our amine functional groups. Um, the first thing we're doing is just looking for nitrogens. This molecule has two nitrogens. Notice that this nitrogen is directly attached to a, a carbon oxygen double bond. That makes this an amide, not an amine. I'm just going to identify it as an amide so we don't get confused. We won't be classifying that. Here we have a nitrogen. This is an amine. In order to classify it, we want to look at how many hydrogen atoms are attached to that nitrogen. We can see that this nitrogen has three bonds, and none of those bonds are two hydrogen atoms, which means it's matching this pattern right here. This is tertiary. And sometimes we abbreviate tertiary with the number three and then the degree symbol, but we don't call it third degree. We still pronounce it tertiary. Let's take a look at the Xanax molecule. This one has four nitrogen atoms. None of them are next to a carbon-oxygen double bond, which means they're all amines. This nitrogen atom we can see has one, two, three bonds. None of them are bonds to carbons, so that's tertiary. The one that's right next to it also has one, two, three bonds. None of them are bonds to hydrogen, so that's also tertiary. This one right here, same thing, three bonds. None of those bonds are to hydrogen, so that one is also tertiary. And our last one down here, we can see one, two, three bonds. None of those bonds are to hydrogen, so that one is also tertiary. Come down here to Valium. We've got two nitrogens in this molecule. This nitrogen is directly next to a carbon-oxygen double bond, which makes this an amide. I am going to label it, but we're not going to classify it. This nitrogen has one, two, three bonds. None of those bonds are to hydrogen atoms, so that is tertiary. Now we have the cocaine molecule. It has one nitrogen. It is not an amide. That nitrogen has one, two, three bonds. None of those bonds are to hydrogens. Tertiary. It's just a lot of tertiary on this. Um, here is morphine. We have one nitrogen atom. That nitrogen has three bonds. None of them are to hydrogen, so it is tertiary. And then our last molecule here, we have two nitrogen atoms. They are not directly attached to the carbon-oxygen double bond, so these are both amines. This is a nitrogen that has two hydrogens attached. Let's go back up to our reference here. A nitrogen with two hydrogens attached is primary, And our abbreviation for primary is a one with a degree symbol. And then last but not least, here's a nitrogen that has three bonds. None of those are bonds to hydrogen, so that one is also tertiary.